welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see all of my Disney peaches here today. And y'all, I am so thrilled to bring you this video. Um, as you can see from the thumbnail, that um, it is hugely a Little Mermaid haul from Vera Bradley. As you all know, they had the big drop uh, this past week. And y'all, I went a little crazy to say the least. I had to pick up uh, some of these beautiful pieces from Vera Bradley, which I'm a huge fan of Vera Bradley anyway. You know that because I have shown you uh, things that I've gotten over the years and my collections and things like that. So I love this brand. And I have some exciting news. I am now an ambassador for Vera Bradley. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited because I truly use the brand. I truly love the brand and I have used it and been a customer for so many years. Even before I really was into Disney, I was a huge Vera Bradley fan. So, um, and now that they've got Disney pieces also, oh, it's just heaven to me. So y'all, I wanna tell you, I do have a coupon code for Vera Bradley and it is Pixie Dust Peach. Just like all my other um, uh, coupon codes, I like to try to keep them as much the same as I can for you because I know it'd be easier for you to keep up with. So, y'all, I do need to say that my coupon code does not include the Disney line of the Disney collection. So, these are normally limited edition pieces that sell out so quickly. So, you can see why they don't really discount these and, but, but everything else you can use my coupon code of Pixie Dust Peach for. And y'all, Vera Bradley is just amazing. They have some of the best pieces, best patterns ever. And I am just thrilled to death to be able to provide you with a coupon code that you can spend on Vera Bradley's website only. It's not good in the stores or on Shop Disney, anywhere like that. It is just valid on VeraBradley.com. So definitely keep that in mind, but it's Pixie Dust Peach and you'll get 10% off your purchase. So, so, so excited. So now y'all, if you want to see what all I picked up from Vera Bradley, plus I have a few other things in addition to that haul that I want to share with you also, y'all need to come on back, okay? So, I'm going to start out with my beautiful Little Mermaid pieces. And I'm just so thrilled, y'all. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to rush. My lighting outside is going down. I have studio lights shining right on me. So, you might see a little bit of shadowing. But, um, I want to go ahead and get this done so you can see it. Normally, I like to start off with a huge bang. But, y'all, I'm going to start out with the smaller pieces first, okay? So, the first thing I wanna show you, now, first of all, there was two patterns available, and I will put those patterns up here so that you can see them. The first one was called the Aerial Floral. It's absolutely stunning. It's my favorite one, and it's got Aerial all over it, and I just love it. It's got the sidekick. It's got everything, and then you have a second one that's called Aerial Floral Ditzy, and it is mostly what I would call a sidekick 
pattern. So you don't really see Ariel in this one, but you see Flounder and Sebastian and others that were in the movie. And so those were the two patterns. And I actually got some of everything. Um, so you will see both patterns in my haul. So y'all, the first thing that I absolutely fell in love with and said I had to have, and this is the bag charm and it is of Ariel. Y'all, this thing is stunning. It has two little, before I bring it up close and let you see it, I'm going to describe it. It's got a little rope on either side and there's a little pearl um, on the rope. You have this beautiful figure of Ariel with her tail and then you have Flounder. So Flounder's holding one of the pearls and so is Ariel. And then you have this clasp that looks like um, a seashell, a shell of some kind. And there is a little function that opens up where you can put it on uh, a strap, uh, uh, a hook, or whatever you want to display it on. So let me bring it up close and let you see it. Okay, so this is Miss Ariel up close, and it feels kind of like padded or, or puffy, um, more like padded. And it is so beautiful. You can see the roping with the pearls. And then here is Flounder. And he has one of the ropes with the pearls on it as well. And it is absolutely beautiful. Ariel is the same on both sides. And then you have Flounder, and then on the back side of Flounder, you have the Disney logo and um, all of that good stuff. Uh, Vera Bradley also. Then here is your clasp, y'all. So pretty. Let me see if I can get this tag out of the way. Goodness gracious. Okay, here's your, uh, you see how it looks like a little seashell. And then this where it, it very easily opens up so that you can actually add it to a bag and your Vera Bradley tag. Oh, it's so beautiful, y'all. And this bag charm was $25. And again, none of these pieces were discounted. So, um, unfortunately, you don't get a discount with these, but listen, they sell out so quickly. And, uh, and most of everything on the website is limited edition. So, uh, love it so much, but love this bag charm. Okay, the next thing that I want to show you is the Ariel Zip ID case. And y'all, I had to get it because all of Ariel on the front, it feels like it's half, um, uh, like a half applique that's on on and then the other half is all embroidered the the flowers and the shell is all embroidered let me bring this up to you and show you the gorgeous piece that this is so here is beautiful Ariel. This is again the zip ID case. Um, you see her beautiful locks right here. This is all embroidered, embroidered here. I love the functionality of this case. I love the uh, the cotton or the fabric case that it is. And then look on the inside. Um, mine doesn't really have a particular character. It's just a couple of the little sidekicks that were in the movie. And you can see the pattern that I got on the slip part. So you can see you have Disney on one side of the ribbon and you have Vera Bradley on the other side. And that's the ribbon on your zipper pull. And when you open it up, you have actually, you've got this little paper, Vera Bradley paper in here. And then you have the beautiful design in here. You have the Disney Vera Bradley logo tag. Um, and you do have your little slip um, for the window for your ID. And then the other side, you could put cards or whatever you like. It also has that gorgeous um, uh, same thing that you can slip on a bag if you want to. But it is like a seashell. And I just love it. This is your zip ID case and it was $25. Now the next thing that I want to share with you is something I set out right off the beginning to get. And I had to have it. And it is the gorgeous clamshell uh, cosmetic case. And it's in the beautiful aerial floral. Now, um, yeah. 
so far I've just shown you this and um, I would imagine this is the floral Dixie on the inside of that a particular piece but this is the aerial floral and y'all it has the um, stitching that goes around and gives it that shell look it has a flat bottom that feels a bit firm so you're going to be able to stand this up on your countertop and go in and out of your bag with no problem so anyway y'all i love that i've got ariel right in the middle let me bring it up close so you can see it here is ariel gorgeous piece right here and then you just have all of the rest of the beautiful underneath under the sea look and i don't see any sidekicks other than just randoms um from the movie and then on the back you've got more aerial and um yeah it is just beautiful so here is the back and the front and so you have the same ribbon as your zipper pull and y'all let's open it up and look at it oh it's so beautiful let me show you the inside oh wow this has got that plastic uh lining and the vera bradley logo tag is just on the inside underneath the lining let me bring it up close you can see it so you can see it has the plastic feel. There's Flounder, there's Sebastian. Um, here is the Disney logo and Vera Bradley tag. You can see even in the bottom is covered in the plastic. And then you have like a little net um, pocket right here. And then there's more on this side with the plastic. So you've got a slip pocket and look how spacious this is. And I love how wide it opens um, on the sides. That looks so awesome. Oh, I wanted this particular piece so badly and I'm so glad I got it. It's totally sold out now. So I'm so happy um, that I was able to get this piece. Um, before it sold out now, um, you know, I'm not saying what is still available at the parks I have no idea what is at the parks right now, but I do know I've checked Dillard's online You may be able to find some pieces that you're missing at Dillard's in the store I don't know that all stores got this collection in um, but I know online and um at Vera Briley's website, this one is sold out. So, so glad to get this. And this one was $45. Okay, the next piece that I want to share with you is called the Mini Travel Accessory Bag. And it looks like a treasure chest, y'all. Like under the sea when you find it in the sea. And y'all, this is beautiful. Let me show you this beautiful stitching on the background that makes it look like shells from under the sea and then you have uh, embroidered you have flounder and some flowers and it's just absolutely gorgeous you're gonna love this piece so you can see it from the front so beautiful it zips around the middle you can see flounder here who is stitched and you can see this shell and stitching that's all over the bag you have flowers up here and then you have seashells down here and it goes around to the back you can see this gorgeous shell stitching that's on the bag it is so beautiful and you can tell it's kind of a smaller bag from just me holding it in my hands and i would feel like for me this would be a great thing to put some jewelry or delicate pieces that i need to travel with in so let's open it up and it is stuffed with paper let me take that out real quick okay oh wow the inside feels like kind of like the inside of a jewelry bag so you know this would be perfect for delicates you know any kind of uh jewelry or watch or whatever you want to really be cautious with i wish you could feel that that is just so soft and velvety um on the inside and you have your disney uh vera bradley tag right here let me bring it up so you can see it 
So there is the Disney Vera Bradley logo tag. This is just so soft, y'all. It's just really an open bag. There's no pockets or slips or anything, but it, it really is there to take care of something that may be a little bit more delicate um, and you want to take care of. So I love this. I'm looking so forward to using this on my next trip to Disney. And this piece was $35. So y'all, I love, you've seen my Vera Bra uh, Bradley uh, backpack that I carry. It's not the campus backpack. I think it's called the Hadley or something like that. And it's in that celebration, Mickey celebration print, which is like a dark blue. It's absolutely beautiful. And I love it. I carry it to work all the time. I've carried it, I think I carried it to the parks the last time that Mitzi and I went uh, together. So when I saw this bag, um, I was like, oh, it says it's a mini backpack. I've got to have it. And y'all, I was so, so excited. Then when I got it, I'm still not sure because the dimensions, it's my fault for not looking at the dimensions, but I haven't unfolded it yet. So this is what it looks like. And I will definitely um, tell you if I can find it. I'll try to find the dimensions of it. But you can see the dimensions. Oh, let me look real quick. I'm sure it's on her site. Okay, so I just looked it up. It's out of stock, but um, it is seven inches by eight by four and a half with a uh, 37 inch removable adjustable straps and a 2.75 handle drop, which is this right here. So, <clears throat> again, it's sold out on Vera's website. I'm not sure about Dillard's, but um, it is supposed to be a mini backpack. So, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this is for a little girl. But then, I saw someone else's review, and y'all, it looked much larger. So, maybe I just need to fill it out and, you know, stuff it and all of that. And it may be just perfect for what I want to use it for. And it's just to go back and forth to work, go shopping. Because um, I love to be hands-free when I'm going to work with stuff. And when I'm going shopping, I love to wear a backpack or a crossbody. So, so this has a drawstring on the inside of the lid. Oh, not the lid, but the cover. <laughs> so it has this little uh, rubbery string and you mash the middle up and it extends out and it gives you your um, full clearance on the bag. So you can see it's really, uh, it is a spacious bag. <laughs> so I feel like I just really needed to open it up and uh, get it all puffed out and maybe stuffed a little bit but y'all i think i'm really gonna like carrying this to work and especially like out um to do things that i need hands free like shopping or whatever and y'all i love the print this is the floral ditzy print and i will bring it up and let you see it a little bit closer so you can see the print better so here's the print. You can see Flounder, you have Sebastian, you have a lot of the other uh, characters from the movie, and it's just adorable. There's those little singing fish that is so cute. And you know, um, my friend Hope over uh, at the Disney Sisters, I watched her review. It was fabulous. Y'all got to go check her out. And um, she mentioned that too. She got this same bag as well. And y'all, it has side pockets over here on the side on both sides so that's super functional here's your straps on the back which I haven't taken off yet but I will and I'm just excited to try it you know it's a little bit smaller than I would have liked I wish it could have been um, just a little bit larger but I'm gonna try it and see how I like it I'm sure I will uh, I really don't carry a ton of stuff in my bag much anymore here on the inside you've got a zipper pocket let me see if I, oh, I went to the wrong side let's see how big that is and it's a it's a pretty good size I mean it's a decent size so there's your little zipper pocket and it actually has a place for your cell phone. 
look at there or glasses whatever you want to put there so there's one slip pocket right there on the front <laughs> how awesome is that y'all i really think i might like this i'll definitely let you know how i feel about it and uh yeah it is so darling i absolutely love this print and i love the bag i'm so excited to try it as a backpack and yeah so i went for the mini backpack in the floral ditzy print and the mini backpack was 75 dollars so y'all i have got my next piece and it's a piece that i usually will get in every disney release and it is the triple zip hipster and it is really a spacious bag y'all um Mitzi loves this she is a huge fan of this particular bag she wears it to work all the time in all of her prints and y'all it is the most functional thing this would be perfect for the parks um you have if you unless you're having to carry stuff for children it might not be the best thing um uh, to carry for children but um, if you're a person that nothing does not need to do that, this is ideal. Now, this is in the aerial floral print, and I love it. Um, me and I both got great placement. Um, we've got aerial in two places here on the front, and of course, you've got a flounder, and you got Sebastian, and just so many different things. And let me show you this up close, okay? So here is the gorgeous, gorgeous print. And again, I've got the beautiful Ariel there. And then she's down here also. Um, you have got, um, where did I see flounder? Oh, here's flounder down here. And Sebastian is up up somewhere i done lost him oh he's right here in the middle so there uh those are the main ones that i love having on my bag you have uh on the outside they call it a triple zip because you have a zipper here you have a zipper here and a zipper here these pockets are so spacious y'all and inside this first you've got this huge pocket with a slip here and a slip there and oh my goodness it goes in forever so that's an awesome pocket right off the bat and then the second pocket down there's no slip pockets but it's another hugely spacious pocket look at that oh so beautiful the print carries over into the pockets now let me show you the back here's the back it has the same gorgeous print, beautiful aerial. I love it. And y'all, they've given you a spot for your cell phone. And it is more, oh, let's just put it in there. Look, it goes all the way inside of your bag. Isn't that something? And it is perfect for your phone. If you don't want to put your phone on the outside, you can always put sunglasses or whatever you need to store and be able to get to in a hurry. Now, let's look on the inside. Oh my gosh. You have a beautiful zipper pocket right here. You have, oh, here's my tissue. You have a huge, huge pocket there on the inside. Oh, it's just so spacious. Oh my gosh, I love it. There are no slip pockets on the inside of this because you've got those others. Um there also you've got your big strap that's great uh it extends so full that it fits any plus size and it goes down to fit the smallest as well um this particular bag was 85 dollars so i love it so glad to have gotten it and this is the aerial floral print okay i've got two more pieces of beer bridesmaid to show you and um this y'all is called the vera tote and y'all this is absolutely stunning absolutely stunning i still can't believe i got this bag oh my gosh let me see if i can get this out of the way oh my gosh y'all this is a vera tote 
but this is the beautiful Ariel, which this is an applique. Her hair is just like an applique that, or some kind of bubbled applique that's sewn on, and it's out of fabric. And then the rest of her is absolutely embroidered. Uh, all of the flowers and things going around are embroidered. Um, part of Sebastian is embroidered. The rest is applique. This is all embroidered. It's just stunning. You can see the stitching all over this bag when I bring it up close for the background that has uh, the seashells all over it. Y'all, it's stunning. And then the back is just plain. You've got the bottom. Oh my gosh. Let me bring it up. So you can see it y'all look how absolutely beautiful she is look at flounder look at sebastian oh it's so stunning can you see the stitching that um gives you the shell background on the fabric and all of these are recycled cotton or recycled fabric I forget which one they say, but it's all recycled. And, oh, look at that. Just beautiful. It, you have your straps. And then, y'all, let's look. You have a zipper closure. There's your zipper. And, y'all, it's so beautiful. It has got one, two, three, six slip pockets on the inside. Three on this side and three over here on this side. So you have three, you have six slip pockets. That is the most functional bag ever. I mean, ever, oh my gosh. And then you can see it's the aerial floral print on the inside um, that matches the pattern here. You've got your Disney and Vera Bradley logo. Y'all, the Vera tote is a huge bag. I have two Vera totes, but they, I use them to store things in, like, um, or I use them as a carry-on. Um, right now, I've got some knitting stuff in one, and then I've got cross-stitch stuff in another, but I have used both of them, um, uh, to carry on the airplane, so that it's small enough to go up under, you know, your definitely uh could put it under the seat if you needed to which i wouldn't put this under the seat but my other ones i do but it's so beautiful i absolutely love it and this bag was 150 dollars. but y'all look at that amazing work on it i think it's worth it absolutely stunning love it okay y'all uh, the last piece that I have to show you from my Vera haul is probably my most favorite travel piece from Vera Bradley. Disney or non-Disney, it doesn't matter. I have to have this piece, if it's available, in any collection that I do, especially if I'm wanting to travel with it or travel with my collection. Y'all, it is called the weekender and i am a huge advocate of this piece i love it so much it is absolutely stunning this is in the aerial floral print um you have your uh little straps right here um they're more right like handles i mean i guess you could wear it on your shoulder but um you have a an attachable strap that goes on your bag, but you have a front pocket that has slip pockets in it. Um, this is a great carry-on piece on the airplane as well. Um, I love this. I've carried this style, you know, the Weekender to Disney so many times or anywhere I'm going, the beach, the mountains, wherever. You have another uh, zip around pocket up here um, for you as well. And then you have two side pockets. Um, well, no, I'm sorry. It's just one side pocket. You got one side pocket here. And then on the back, this is the thing I really love, is you have that 
slip through to put your handles for your suitcase in. But then they didn't stop there. They put a pocket here and they put a pocket there. Super, super functional. Vera Bradley is so functional. They don't miss a lick when they're doing their designs. They think of everything. They think of everything you need. And y'all, here's the inside. You've got these mesh pockets here that slip. You got three on this side. Um, you've got two bigger ones on this side. Here is your strap. It's a padded strap here, and then you have your silver hardware that attaches at the end, and you can carry it over your shoulder. And y'all, this thing is huge. It fits so much. I cannot tell you, I've actually washed one of my weekenders. You take the hardboard out of the bottom, and then you can wash them in the wash machine. I don't dry anything in the dryer. I hang mine to dry, and y'all, I mean, I've only washed my pieces once my travel pieces once so they look as beautiful as the day that i bought them these that's one huge asset to vera bradley is being able to wash your pieces and uh just keep reusing them over and over and over again so i was so excited to get the weekender i absolutely love it i wish i had picked up the medium duffel bag um i decided not to because i don't use the duffel as much um as this this is my big one and um like i said i use the bigger bag for carry on as well and so but i do wish i had picked that up but they're sold out so um i don't know they may have something at the park i'm not sure but anyway i absolutely love it and this was the last piece that i had to show you of my vera bradley haul and the weekender was a hundred and forty dollars so y'all something else that i wanted to share with you that i got in the mail i ordered this uh, well, I actually pre-ordered this as a second or third run, whatever it was, from 707 Street. And it really wasn't due to come in till May. And it came in this week, y'all. And I just have to share it with you because I missed out on it before and I just kicked myself for not getting it. And so when the holiday season comes around this year, I'm going to be sporting this bag. This is what I got. I absolutely love it. Um, I was just so envious of everybody that had this bag. And when everybody started wearing it and I carrying it everywhere, I just was like, oh, I can't believe I didn't get that bag. But it is the pumpkin bag and I just absolutely love it. Y'all, it's a crossbody. It has kind of an antique uh, gold hardware. And the top unzips. Uh oh, do I have it all unzipped? No, I must not. Um, and y'all look at the interior. It is pumpkin, Mickey pumpkin, and bats. Let me show you. Look how pretty that is. I absolutely love it. Let me take this paper out. It's just a big hole, and there's the strap inside. But I love it. I'm so excited that I went ahead and got it, and I cannot believe it showed up months, well, not months, a month, before it was supposed to. And I'm just tickled pink to have it, y'all, honestly. And now I can put it back and have it ready for next year. Let me show it without the, the little ear holder thing. Oh, it broke on that side. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Isn't it so pretty? And it's just flat on the bottom. Here's the back. It's got the beautiful orange metal logo tag. It says Disney and Loungefly. Look how gorgeous that is. I just love it. So I'm just so tickled pink to have this bag in my collection. You know, I love to decorate my display for Halloween. And this is gonna be one of the ones up there when I'm not wearing it. So absolutely love it. Thank you, 707 Street. Okay guys, something else that I wanna share with you, and this is the last thing I'm gonna share with you today, but um, a good friend of mine, Frank, from Pinapalooza, sent me two beautiful 
princess pins that he has available and y'all are gonna flip over these these are absolutely stunning they're limited edition of 300 and it is part of the neon tuesday uh, Pinapalooza collection and y'all it's absolutely gorgeous I, I cannot still believe how beautiful these pins are um yeah it's part of it's limited edition 300 and it's part of the neon tuesday collection let me show you this if you love rapunzel you're gonna flip out y'all look how stunning rapunzel is this is a most gorgeous pen. You can see her gorgeous face. The face is just dead on. I love it. And then you have Pascal on her shoulder. She has her, her little painting board. And look at the beautiful braiding of her hair. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful. Just stunning. And look how big it is. I think it's a beautiful size. Let me tell you real quick the little details of this pen. So this one is the Rapunzel and Pascal in green palette. Um, again, it's part of the Neon Tuesday Pinapalooza collection. It's gold metal and enamel pen. It's approximately two and a half inches high. The back of the pen says Disney logo, uh, it's Disney logo, official license pen, limited edition of 300, and then it has the Disney logo. Absolutely beautiful. Let me show you the back of this one. So you can see it's the beautiful gold uh, metal. You see the Disney logo, limited edition of 300, and it's absolutely beautiful. Again, just the thickness, look at the thickness of this pen, absolutely stunning, and I love it. I will be putting all of Pinapalooza's information down below, Frank's email, uh, where you can go look at these, absolutely stunning. And now let me show you the second one he sent me. So here is the beautiful second one that he sent, and it is the one, the same exact pen, but it has a orange um, or red Pascal. And both of these are part of the Pinapalooza Neon Tuesday collection. I just love the braids and flowers in her hair. Just stunning. Let me show you both of these at the same time. So here they are together. Oh, if you are a pen collector like I am, you're gonna want to get these in your collection. And they are absolutely beautiful. So I just wanted to share both of these uh, with you. Um, Frank was so awesome to send them my way. They're just so beautiful. And um, yeah, if you are a pen collector or if you are a Rapunzel fan, you will want these pens in your collection. So guys, that's it. That's my haul for today. Um, thank you so much for being here and coming by. Um, Y'all are amazing. I'm still, um, I'm probably going to put my giveaway up in the next few days. So look out for that. And y'all, I hope you enjoyed everything. That beautiful aerial uh, collection from Vera Bradley is absolutely stunning. And I'm so excited because you know my number one princess is Belle. My number two princess is Ariel. So I was so happy to get some pieces from uh, the Belle collection, the Bonjour collection when it came out from Vera Bradley. And now I'm able to have gotten some from the Ariel floral collection as well. Y'all, you could go look. There are still several things available on the website. Definitely go check out VeraBradley.com and if you see some things that you want to get please use my pixie dust and peaches coupon code and um again the coupon code unfortunately doesn't include the disney uh, pieces but if you see anything else you would love which 
everything is absolutely amazing there uh definitely do my code for 10 percent off okay and um i'll be putting down all of vera bradley's information um my coupon code and my link for vera bradley and yeah thank you to 707 street for getting me my pumpkin so quickly and thank you to frank for these gorgeous pins uh for pinapalooza and they're absolutely stunning and so thank you so much all right guys that's it i think all my light has left now i think it's dark outside now and i'm gonna let you go and i will see you back here soon thank you for being here bye